What's up, Facebook Live? Happy Tuesday, everybody. Day 202 of 366 Facebook Lives. As you can see, we got Thor, Emma, Old Glory, and the calm after the storm. We just had a big storm roll through here. We're out front there doing some of the landscaping to the property. We are back here from the campgrounds. Finishing up, you can hear the rumbles in the backdrop there. I want to send out a lot of love, a lot of prayers to everybody out there this evening. It's going to be close to about 8.30, getting ready to go for a run here. I just talked to my brother Skip. It's time to play ball. I'll be home in August to play some softball up in Danbury. I'm looking forward to a couple of softball games up there to keep the consecutive years streak alive. 35 years it'll be this year playing on the same softball team. Continue to show up my two brothers. My brother-in-law, my cousin, and five of our friends. Good to see you, Georgia. Good to see everybody here showing up this evening. We are back home. Look at this gorgeous sunset here. Old Glory sitting there proud. And we are just getting some great insights this morning during my meditation. Kathy and I have been doing this meditation on and off for about four and a half years. She doesn't do it very often with me, but this morning I said, Kathy, let's, let's go do a nice meditation ritual gratitude session this morning and man the voice was just speaking through me and she actually had a huge breakthrough she's not one to get very emotional when we do these things i get more emotional in these rituals than she does i just feel the gratitude i feel the thankfulness i just feel something at a higher level to where I can just tap in. And now that she's been reading the Bible, she's been doing her 93 day challenges, she's been working on her body, she's been working on her spirit, she's been working on everything around her, all the bonds and everything in the business and helping out with everything. She has all four areas of life, one time, all connected together. So this morning as I was guiding her through this gratitude session and feeling the love and feeling joy and feeling thankful, she felt it too. And I, and I would just keep my eyes closed. I don't open my eyes when I'm doing these things. And I can open my eyes. I can see her in a state of bliss. And I love to see her certainty in a world full of uncertainty. So Kathy, when you watch this, so proud of you. And I remember when I first started doing this journey, she was like, what are you doing? I don't get it. Does it make any sense to me? Is this a cult? I don't know what meditation is. I can't slow my brain down. And all these things she was talking about. So today, here we are, July 21st of 2020. And she's been doing the work. She's been watching me do the work. She's been watching all these things collectively come together as one. And now the two of us are becoming one. And what a blessing. So proud of her this morning. And she was able to tap into a whole different dimension, a whole different level, a whole different version of herself, her higher self. The old version of her was she was never enough. Anxious. Worried about what other people were going to say. What are they going to think about me? To the new version of her where nothing phases her. Even in this world full of uncertainty, she's found the certainty. She's found herself. She's found her calling. She's found her higher self. And I am so proud of you. And when you watch this, Kathy said, thank you. For allowing me the space to continue to do these crazy things that I do in this world where many people don't understand. But eventually many of us one day will understand. As I've been saying from day one when we started this, this journey, Tiffany and Dave, is that you don't have to understand. It's just keep showing up, download the message, keep taking notes, whatever resonates with you in your core, write that stuff down and then go back and reread it. Because you're evolving unconsciously. You don't even understand it. It's like TV programming. You're being reprogrammed to hear with what serves you, what serves your kids, what serves your wife, what serves your husband. Serves the collective, serves all of us. That's why we're here. You're not a mistake. You are here for a reason. You've been called to continue to show up and download these messages. And to see Kathy breaking through this morning fills my heart. Knowing that I'm not doing this in vain. Somebody's getting something from this. Somebody's getting value. Especially when it's my queen, my wife, and the person I love the most. When she's breaking through, that gives me more certainty, more drive, 
And there's my post the other day from Raul Velasquez. Thank you for that post. It's so powerful. It says, the warrior always asks how. How, Joe? How do I do this? How do I tap in? How do I meditate? No, not how. It's why do you do it? Why do you do it is what the king asks. The peasant and the warrior is always going to ask how. It's why do you do what you do? That's what matters the most. Why? When your why is big enough, you will find a way through. And that's why I said to Kathy the other day when she was climbing that ladder at the job site, I says, keep climbing. Don't look down. Look at me. Climb forward. Keep moving forward. And she climbed that ladder. She overcame her fear of heights. She did the zip lining down in Haiti, overcoming her fear of heights. And that just fills me up inside. It makes me so proud to know why I do what I do. Because I know who's going to pay the price. I know who's going to suffer if I don't show up. So now it's time to ask yourself that question. Who's going to pay the price if you don't show up? Who's going to suffer if you don't reach higher People are counting on you to raise your level of vibration, raise your level of awareness, to go deeper than you've ever gone before. And as Joe Granja coaches all the students out there, coaches the players, and teaches these young people, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's not how do I become a better ball player, it's why do I do what I do. So I'm looking forward to going home and playing ball 35 years playing down at Rogers Park softball fields. That is the gift. I get to play ball. Good to see you, Cheryl. Good to see everybody logging in here. Happy Tuesday, day 202 of 366 Facebook Lives. So proud of my wife. She had that amazing breakthrough. We left the campground this morning. We started the day with gratitude and thankfulness. We had the lights off inside the RV. And I was playing this beautiful hymn. And then the voice just spoke through me to her. And she received the gift. Because every time she receives the gift, I receive the gift. And when I receive the gift, you receive the gift. That's how he rises one. It's not about one man. It's not about one woman. It's about all of us collectively coming together in a world full of uncertainty, bringing certainty into our households because I know this will pass. I know we're going to rise as one. I know there's bigger storms coming. We have to prepare today to get stronger, wiser, love on those that we love. We have so many great memories these last two days playing miniature golf and going out there in a paddle boat and fishing, hiking with the dogs. And then to cap it off with a day of gratitude and a morning of gratitude and a meditation ritual with her this morning and to see her breaking through and tapping into another version of herself where she gives herself the permission to feel. So many of us block so of the pain that we've been through, some of the trauma that we've been through, and we bury that so far down inside of us. We forgot who we are. It's time to awaken that version. Peel back the onion and open yourself up and let yourself feel again. Because a life not fulfilled is the greatest regret in life. Do not go to our final resting place with regret. Go there with a full heart, knowing that you've given it everything that you've got. Knowing that why do you do what you do, not how do I do it. Why do I do it? Like Cheryl raising all these kids and driving them all over the place and baseball practice and over here and going fishing, all these things. For all of us, it's the same thing. Why do we do it? Because we're called to do it. And as a mother, as a husband, as an owner of a business, as a leader of your family, that you are the one that needs to answer the question, why? So I hope this message resonates with you. I hope this message is going deep on you. Because it's not how do you do what you do. It's why do you do it. And once you know the why, the how will show up automatically by default. 
because you are enough. And all the small self, the old version of you that was always traumatized and bullied and all these things that were happening to us growing up that we've hung on to for so long. It's so much energy expended to hold on. It's easier to let go. But the pain that we don't want to face, that we thought was bad, can actually be turned into the fuel that's going to fuel your passion and your purpose and your why so all of your family members can break through. Like Kathy was doing this morning. Makes me so proud to see her tapping into the next dimension, into that next version of herself, knowing that what we're doing here is not in vain. All of you have a higher calling. All of us are being pulled to our higher version of ourselves. Don't let that small version, the old version of yourself, pull you back to who you're supposed to be. Ask why do you do what you do? And once you find the why, the how is going to show up. So thank you, Kathy, for continuing to do the work. Thank you for allowing me the space to go out there and hunt and do what I do, because I know many people want to be able to handle this. But she brought so much certainty these last several days in a world full of uncertainty. It makes me so proud. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys up in Connecticut here in about 10 days. Coming up there and playing some ball and running around and being a childlike, godlike and to just go out there and enjoy this life. Because being cooped up in our homes is not living. I would rather be out there on a battlefield fighting for what is right than hold up in my house, withering away, getting weaker. Take the precautions. Do all the right things. Feed the body, feed the mind, feed the spirit. And when it's all said and done together, we will rise as one. Let me go get my workout in. I love you guys. Keep showing up. They have not seen nothing yet. I love you. Peace.